To show you how to flag overdue tasks in Airtable, I'll be using this social media content calendar. It contains a number of scheduled posts and their relevant details, like status, publication date, and more. One way to flag overdue records is with a pro plan feature called record coloring. Let's navigate to the view bar at the top of the screen and click color to start color coding our records. Since we want to highlight any posts that are still incomplete and past their publication date, let's color code based on a set of conditions rather than a single select field. I'll choose a color, say bright red, and set the parameters so that any post that isn't marked as published and has a publication date before today will be flagged. Now we can immediately see that any record that fits these conditions is marked red. The great thing about this feature is that it will automatically update as things change, so you don't have to worry about maintaining it. You can also monitor overdue records by giving them their own view. Let's create a new grid view and add a few filters. First, we'll set the same conditions that we implemented with record coloring. We'll say that we only want to see records where the post status is not published and where the publication date is before today. And right away, we can see that this view has been populated with all of our overdue records. This filter will make sure that the view always stays up to date, so that if we complete one of our overdue records, it will immediately be filtered out. And now you can navigate to this specific view anytime you want to see if something's past its deadline. Another easy way to make overdue records stand out is with the conditional formula field. Unlike the previous two methods, conditional formula fields are a part of the actual record itself, as opposed to a view. To start, add a new formula field. Now I'm going to break down the parameters that we've previously set into a formula. Basically, this formula tells Airtable that if any record has a publication date that's already passed and that same record hasn't been marked as published, then say overdue. Once I hit save, you can see that the overdue records are immediately listed as such. This field will automatically update as changes are made to your records, so it will always stay accurate and up to date. This formula is also listed in the description below, so feel free to copy and paste it into your own base. Just make sure to update the field names to match your own. Now that you've seen three different ways to keep track of overdue records, go ahead and try one out on your own. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to refer to our support articles and community forum. Thanks for watching.